everyone, Ace here, and we are back with my Let's Play of Empire Earth, or the Greek campaign of it. So, last mission we dealt with the Trojan War, which means that uh, with this mission we're actually starting the Rise of Athens, which should actually be an interesting mission if there ever was one, so let's jump in, shall we? The sons of Pelops were long gone, but north of Argos on the Saronic Gulf, their descendants continued to rule in the city of Athens. Though at first little more than a sleepy village, Athens was poised to take control of the entire Attic region. No one believed in that vision of Athens more strongly than her king, Theseus. Theseus has assembled the leaders of Athens at the Hill of Ares. Here he will share his plan for expanding the city. One that he hopes will secure forever the future of Athens. The legendary Greek city-state is about to emerge. All right. So we have to defeat the armies of uh, these three towns here. Um, just destroy their armies and then they'll ally with us. Do not destroy their town centers, though, because that'll be a mission fail. Uh, the temple has to survive, and at least two Athenian nobility must survive. Okay. Here's the history. As usual, to abridge this video as much as possible, I am not going to actually read the history to you, but if you want to, go ahead and pause it. And, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you find it as interesting as, well, I do when I get to play this game by my own. All right, so, the, so here's the hints for you. So we should probably take out this town first, in other words. And yeah, let's jump right in, shall we? Friends and fellow Athenians, Sparta and Thebes to our north and south are growing stronger, threatening our very survival. To expand our power, we must bring Eleusis, Palaine, and Athena under Athenian control. Once we have defeated their armies, their people will follow us. All right. So, what is my strategy going to be here? Well, first of all, we do have plenty of wood. So I am going to build a granary and guarantee us a food supply. Now, as far as my um, units, um, probably a good idea to go with archers here. Uh, the reason is we have more gold than we do uh, iron, and of course, wood is a renewable resource. So what I'm going to do is build us a couple of these guys. Take a few citizens off of that and have them go gather wood, which we will definitely need. Okay. It might actually be... There we go. Now, the Athenian nobility are, of course, elite units, which will be useful. I better speed this up just to make it a little bit faster. Um, I'm going to try to use as few of them as possible in fights, because we do need them alive as much as possible. Okay, so how many spearmen do we need? Our pop cap isn't as high as normal, unfortunately, but let's see, we can upgrade that, which will be really useful.
<sighs> so, let's see what we can do here. Um, Actually, can we upgrade the armor of our spearmen? I think we can actually can. Yes, we can, and I will do that. It's actually going to give him an ar armor to pierce as well as shock, which is really useful. Okay, so they only had four there, so let's give him another one and... Okay, so that will be our major... That'll be our basic fighting force for right now. And we're going to need them to... defeat, um... first few troops we're gonna run across. Okay, so we do have plenty of food at least. Let's upgrade that re uh, food gathering, shall we? By improving our granary there. Oh. I'm pretty sure they're going to outnumber us pretty badly, which is why we need something else other than... Okay, so here's some iron, so we can get iron, and I will upgrade my... Alright, so what else can we do here? Um, actually, we can actually get more archers, which we probably need right now. So five more archers should give us... Ten more archers, that's actually pretty good. That might actually give us the numbers we need to defeat them. Just in case, we are going to get some citizens up here. Okay, so let's see. Um, I think we've got just about. We're halfway through the archer rebuild, or the archer build there, which is good. And good, good. Um.
All right, we are going, as risky as it might sound, we are gonna build a town center right on their doorstep here, just to uh, build our necessary, just get the necessary resources for our spearman operation. We get, I think, five more, maybe ten more spearmen. That should be enough. So we'll build that there. And while we're at it, I have a feeling we are going to be building more troops here later on anyway, so why not? Good news is this also includes a gold area, so... Uh, stone is going to actually come in handy a little bit later on in this scenario, but I'm not going to spoil that if you, if anyone's never played the game. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got enough for just five more spearmen, which should give us about 15 archers plus 10 spearmen. That's actually a good force, I think, to go with. Now, can I upgrade the armor on these guys a little bit? I think I can. So, let's see. So, okay, so come on. There we go. We're gonna build another mine, this time a gold mine right here, because, well, obvious reasons. Tempted to actually go on the attack now. Um, I am, however, wanting to wait until I can at least upgrade my archers a little bit more, but. Okay, so I think I can manage with this force, though. If, if necessary, because that should be more than enough troops. Okay, so we'll fall back. That should hopefully draw them out. Yep, here they come. And it looks mostly like it's macemen and spear infant, or ranged spearmen, or um, javelin throwers, basically, so. Come on, there we go. That is, however, a lot more of these guys than I expected. OK, 
Okay, so it is a good thing that I had plenty of archers there because my spearmen are having a really tough time. Okay, so we have, I think, defeated them. Okay, so the Athenian nobility can be sent in. Um, we do need a hospital right now. Let's see what can be upgraded. We can upgrade their attack, which is exactly what I'm going to do for right now. How many spearmen survived? Four? Well, then obviously we're going to need six more spearmen to replace, to replace our losses here. What? Okay, so that's not actually... Okay, good. Okay, so let's go here, get our little... Fidna has been decimated, and the city has agreed to become our ally. They have paid us gold and iron in tribute. The power of Athens steadily grows stronger. Very good. Now let's see what we can. Uh, well, we got plenty of um, gold here. Good. Okay, and plenty of iron. Even better. Okay, so I guess I'll just build another ten. Spearmen and call it a day. So we've dealt with that. What's going on? Oh, they're just... Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, now, since we didn't do a whole lot to their uh, village, I mean, we did take out a few houses, but that was it. They are going to be able to rebuild relatively quickly, which is exactly what we need. While I'm at it, I am going to build more citizens, so this time I can... Upgrade the uh, I can finally uh, put to good use some stone gathering which we definitely do need now, as far as the next town to take um, we do have a few choices I think I've got plenty of troops to deal with whoever's next. And what else? Okay, there we go. Should be over 30 units there. That should be plenty. Now, Temple of Athena. We are going to want a few priests. And as is, according to this, they have um, only one pop, they only get one pop cap per priest, which is good. And by getting a whole lot of priests, we should be able to actually 
counter a lot of units uh, that come our way. That's because they can simply convert them. Okay, what's going on? Ooh, okay. Now that we've got these guys dealt with. We could, in theory, send these guys out to help us take one of these towns or something, but I don't think that's going to be quite necessary. Come on, bring out your army. There we go. Okay, so they do have archers. And that, if that is, that cannot be their entire army. Yeah, here we go. That's more like it. Okay, so we've dealt with them. Okay, so I need one spearman to replace my losses. And it looks like my archers are good. Okay, Theseus and the nobility, go and capture that town. the army of Palin, and the city has agreed to an alliance. They have given us gold and iron in tribute. The strength of Athens grows. Okay, so let's build some more hospitals. One there. One here. One here. That'll give us plenty of healing space there for our troops. Okay. And we still need more to finish that there. Okay. Yes, we are going to want to send our Athenian nobility here. Hey, we really should actually consider to simply not or not gather any more. Whoa, what? Oh, we're gonna stop gathering um, iron for a little bit, mainly because it's and gold. Uh, well, actually, no, we are gonna keep gathering gold, but we're gonna put these iron workers into the stone mine here, so we can actually start gathering that. Ooh. First, we'll finish this though. Whoops. There we go. Uh, okay. Your command, there we go. Now, populate that. We did take out their um, a good chunk of their uh, their farm fields, so they are going to be a little bit slower to build up, perhaps. But for now, I will tell them, tell everyone, to send their troops down there because, well, I'm going to actually not spoil it for right now. But we are going to need some troops there later on. Just trust me on that. Okay.
Now, I think we have plenty of wood for right now, so we'll get all of these guys here, and we will have them get start gathering, start building towers. We are going to need a tower here for start. Okay, so let's see what kind of defenses these guys have. Actually, let's actually go here. There is a method to my madness, and that is going to be that we can... There comes their army having to meet us out in the field while they're getting shot at with arrows. So this is a very quick and easy way to, I guess, take out... Or this is an easy way to take out a good chunk of their army without actually trying. You probably shouldn't be in the middle of there, guys, because that's a bad idea. Well, never mind. There goes our archer. So let's stop attacking them for right now. Get that done. Um, pretty sure we only lost that one archer, so we'll just get a new one. And there you go. Good, good. And we and our stone operation really is taking off, which is really important. So we'll go ahead, upgrade our towers. While we're at it, we will build two more. One there. And one here. So, grand total of four towers here, which... <sighs> okay, so... Got that. Go ahead, go to that town center, and that should be good. All right, it since we have plenty of resources. The army of Eleusis is defeated, and the city has pledged to be our ally. They have paid us a tribute in gold and iron. Athenian power is growing, and Attica has finally been united under the leadership of Athens. My vision has become reality. Now I must go to the Temple of Athena, inside the city, and give thanks to the gods. There I shall discover what the gods have in store for me next. Okay, so we do have more points, I think. Uh, yes, we do. Let's see what kind of stuff we can get with those more points. Archer's foot. Um, hmm. I'm going to hold off on more archer stuff, and I guess more... So I guess I'll just hold on to the points I've got. So right now I've got some pretty good units. Let's actually go ahead and build another tower here. Because they're gonna. Okay, I have a feeling that my particular area is going to become under attack at some point. Should about do. Okay. okay, 
Okay, all is well, I think. We have ten priests guarding this. Good, good. Okay, we'll send the majority of our army north here. Your command. Except for Theseus. You are going to the tower here. Okay, so we'll just get As some more priests. As I approach the temple, my friends, a feeling of joy is growing in my heart. I believe that my time here is coming to an end, and that I... Okay. has been taken by the gods to Mount Olympus. All right. Well, let's get some troops here real quick. Athens continued to gain strength until Sparta and Thebes decided they could tolerate the upstart city no longer. They formed an alliance and their armies were soon on the march, forcing Athens to defend herself. Here comes the Athenian, or yeah, here comes the Thebian army here. And enforce. Oh, great. There are a whole bunch of units that can wreck my units. That's brilliant. Well, I at least am going to wreck the th what's left of the Thebian army there, which is good enough, I guess. Okay, now. The Spartans are attacking. We must defend our city. Mighty Athens, your allies offer their assistance in turning back the invading armies of Sparta and Thebes. Start converting them. This is why it's important to have profits. Okay, so it does seem to be paying off. Yeah, this is why profits are actually surprisingly useful. Several victories against the invaders. Now their enemies must be driven out of Attica for good. There we go. It looks like we pulled it off. Spartan and Theban armies have been annihilated. The power of Athens has been established once and for all on the Greek peninsula. From this day forward, greatness and greater enemies assuredly await. All right. So yeah, that is why, um, and that is a lesson in why priests are so powerful as a defensive unit in the game. And we have a whole bunch of points to play with. Okay, sweet. Um, all right. So let's see how we did. Okay, so we did pretty good militarily speaking. Um, we did lose a lot of units, admittedly. Uh, to be expected, though, considering we fought pretty much everyone at this point. 
But we did really wreck the Spartans. And we also, 13 conversions, not a whole lot, but considering, well, that's well over a tenth of their army just converted by us, which is pretty good. Uh, our own army size, however, was just dwarfed by both the Thebians and the Spartans, especially, so, yeah, um, quality over quantity, I guess. Well, this has been Ace, hope to see you, well, I say quality, quantity, quality over quantity when we were going up against Sparta, but, well, that's why you, that's why you have priests. Um, but yeah, this has been Ace, but hope to see you guys again soon. Take care, Ace out. Thank <laughs> you.